Dr. Mead Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to calculate our Okay, now before starting to solve the sum uh, based on arbitrage gain in two points, okay, uh, let us see how what are the various steps in order to solve it. Okay, so steps in calculating arbitrage gain in two points. Step number one, you need to first draw a straight line, put the points B1, A1, B2, and A2 in sequential order. Uh, the word B1 and A1 are nothing but bid rate and ask rate of the first bank, the one which has the smaller bid rate. Okay, so the smaller bid rate, so we'll have two bid rates to ask, we need to put them in sequential order. Okay, if B2 lies between B1 and A1, that's the only rule which you have to remember. If B2 lies in between B1 and A1, there is no arbitrage opportunity. Other than that, there will always be an arbitrage opportunity and an arbitrage gain will be found with using the formula B2 minus A1 minus 1. Okay, B2 upon A1 minus 1 into 1 million. Okay, 1 million nothing but 10 lakhs. Okay, but as per the formula, this is the one which you'll have to use. Okay, so just three steps. First, we make a number line. We post A1, A2, B1, B2. If B2 lies in between A1 and B1, then there is no opportunity. If not, there will always be an arbitrage opportunity. An arbitrage gain can be solved, uh, you know, found using the formula B2 upon A2 minus, sorry, B2 upon A1 minus 1 into 1 million okay so now let us see we'll be taking up two sums in order to find and solve arbitrage gain wherever they have given us two points okay or two you know two countries two banks two rates so let us see how to solve them okay now let us see how to solve and identify arbitrage gain okay when we have uh, you know basically two transaction okay when we whenever we have uh, two banks transactions or two transaction then how to find and identify arbitrage okay, this is a very I'll, I'll be showing you a very simple trick how, how to identify okay with that i can guarantee you all can easily solve any sum which will have you know two transaction okay any sum relating to two transaction okay so in this video we are basically only going to learn uh, how to solve sum when there are two transactions given okay for triangular transaction okay there will be another video made uh, for that particular reason okay Chalo. now in order to identify the very first thing what you all need to do is let, let's say we'll go to the first question given AUD to USD they are giving you one rate the bid rate and the ask rate and again AUD to USD they are giving you one bid rate and ask rate identify and calculate the arbitrage gain okay now look at this very carefully okay how we need to go about solving this sum now the very first thing what you all can do is we'll always remember in order to we'll do one small working note just make a straight a, a straight line okay just make a straight line and and from the four rates which have been given to you look at the bid rate and the bid rate whichever is the smallest among the two now this is 1.9309 and 1.9398 okay remember whichever is the smallest bid rate whichever is the smallest bid rate mark that as b1 okay and the other one will be b2 okay now uh, to make it more clear okay to make it more clear what i'll do here is okay i'll just erase this things i'll just erase it to make it more prominent okay what i'll do here is i will write this as b1 this is b2 the ask rate following b1 will become your a1 and the other one will become a2 okay remember that very carefully okay 
now after that after that you will always start now start posting on the number line like consider this as a number line the lowest value will come first so in this b1 now check in the 4 which is the lowest value among all these four values 0 1.9 309 398 388 and 400 so 309 is the lowest value so I'll write b1 will be the first value after that check which is the next lowest value after 309 will come 388 which is a1 so a1 is the next value after that we have 398 that is b2 and then we have last a2 okay so first step is mark down those four values which have been given in the ascending order now the rule is here is the the logic okay just compare the first three just compare just look at the first three part and the rule is the rule is if okay the rule is when you compare the three the first three uh, values if b2 remember this term if b2 lies in between the first and the third again i'm repeating if b2 lies in between the first and the third term then there will not be any arbitrage opportunity okay again i repeat if b2 lies in between the first and the third then there can never be an arbitrage opportunity now in this case a1 is in between b1 and b2 other than b2 if any other number is between okay the first and the third there will be always an arbitrage opportunity so we will write here now since b2 does not lie between b1 and a1 comma there is an arbitrage opportunity so you just have to remember if b2 shouldn't be in between if b2 is in between there will never be an arbitrary opportunity other than that there will be always an arbitrage opportunity so once we have got that we can now use the arbitrage formula so i'll write here arbitrage gain is equal to b2 upon a1 minus 1 into 1 million you will always compare it with the million now in this sum b2 here this is b2 that is 1.9398 upon a1 which is 1.9388 minus 1 into 1 million so 10 lakhs okay remember that so now 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 it's very simple i will first divide i will minus whatever answer you get multiply with 10 lakh and you should get the answer as five one five point seven eight okay five one five point seven eight that's your answer so i will write so you have an arbitrage gain so this is rupees so we can write finally therefore there is an arbitrage gain of Okay, now since it is AUD, okay, so this is not rupee. So I'll read, there is an arbitrage gain of AUD 515.78, okay, on investment of 1 million AUD. Okay, so again very simple you just have to identify the whole thing as per this number line once you understand this number line rest everything is simple okay so this is how you'll have to solve the sum the first sum now let us take the second sum 
given SEK to AUD, the values are given bid and ask. And AUD to SEK bid and ask is given. Identify and calculate the arbitrage gain. Now, if you look carefully here, in order to find the arbitrage gain, you need to have the currency in the same order. Okay, so SEK to AUD and, and this is AUD to SEK, so they are not in the same order. So, in order to get the answer, you'll have to first, we'll have to convert it in the same quotation, okay? So, it's given that whenever there are two, you know, two quotations which are in different form, always remember it is necessary to convert them into one, okay? So, in this case, what we will do here is, uh, the first equation we keep as it is, and we'll try converting the second equation, okay? The second quotation. So, now we are, we are trying to convert it, okay? We are converting it. So first what I'll write here, first is the conversion, okay we are making it into SEK to AUD, so first we are trying to calculate the bid rate, so in order to calculate the bid rate rule is very simple, it will be 1 upon the, 1 upon the ask, so 1 upon the ask that will be 0 0.7225 and same thing SEK to AUD in order to find the ask it will be 1 upon bid 0 0.7215 so when I divide it when I divide it I should get the value as of SEK to AUD as 1.3841 and the other one has to be 1.3860 okay so after conversion, the SEK to AUD, this is the value. And given value is also there. So we have SEK to AUD. The given value is 1.3733 and 1.3735. Okay. The first one is conversion. The second one is given. Now again, very simple. We will make a number line. Now in order to find if there is any arbitrage gain, Okay, so the very first step is we will make a number line. Okay, after making the number line, now among the four, check in the bid rate, whichever is the lowest bid rate, we will number it as B1. So, 3733 the smallest, this becomes my B1. The top will become B2. This will become A1 and the above one will be A2. The smallest value among all is 733. So, B1 is the smallest value. Next, after... Uh, seven, uh, 3733 is 3735 that is A1 next is 41 841 so that's B2 and last is A2 okay again we need to compare the first three among the first three the rule is B2 shouldn't be in between the other values okay so again here I can see B2 is not in between okay so again I can easily write that since B2 does not lie between you know B1 and A1 there is an arbitrage opportunity okay now since there is an arbitrage opportunity we can easily note down the formula now so arbitrage opportunity arbitrage gain is equal to the formula is B2 upon A1 minus 1 into 1 million. Okay. So now here the B2 value was 1.3841 upon A1 ka value is 1.3735 minus 1 the whole thing into 10 million uh, sorry 1 million so that's 10 lakhs. Again, when you divide, you minus and when you multiply with 1 million, the value that everyone should get would be 7705.17. So finally, I can write, therefore, there is an arbitrage gain of, now uh, this is, uh, now again it, it is based on AUD, so it's all based on AUD. The first one was based also on AUD, and so now this is also based on AUD. 
So I can write finally there is an arbitrage gain of 7705.17 on investment of 1 million. Okay, so that's my final answer. So this is how you all need to solve the sum uh, under arbitrage gain when they tell you to identify and find the arbitrage gain. Always remember this number line. If B2 appears in between uh, B1 and A1, okay, if, if they appear between B1 and A1, then it does, then there will be no arbitrage opportunity. Other than that, there will always be an arbitrage opportunity. Once you get the arbitrage opportunity, you need to apply into the formula and get the final answer. Okay. So I hope everyone have understood this. With that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.